Okay, can you tell me that story again, that somebody adopted him? So somebody in Towson, Maryland adopted him through World Animal Guardians. Okay. And my wife knows somebody at World Animal Guardians and saw our picture on, uh, <laughs> the social media, anyway. Okay. Um, Facebook. And uh, she had like five or six dogs and Bosch was in there. And she asked Ann if we would um, foster him. And that was two years ago in December. So we're foster failures. So how did it, I'm, I'm so curious, how did it wind up? So, so somebody, in, somebody in, in Kuwait City had him, dumped him in the Arabian desert. And then a Russian animal activist found him in the desert and took him to the vet. And the vet, mm -hmm. my wife knows Russian and the vet and the woman were talking in Russian in Kuwait City, which doesn't make any sense, but anyway. Um, Basically, they, the doctor told the woman that he wasn't going to survive, and he arrested twice, and they brought him back. So, and then, uh, then he was living with like five or six other mm -hmm. dogs in a foster family in Kuwait until somebody here decided to take him. And the guy that's here that took him, he, he had health problems. So. But when we first got him, it was December, and you'd go walking around the block and you'd get his paws all wet, mm -hmm. and you couldn't dry his paws off of the towel, so we had to blow dry his paws, because he wouldn't let you touch him with a towel. And he bit me five times. Ow. Yeah, now he bites mm. me, but he doesn't draw blood. He'll just, he'll nip at me and just let me know whatever I'm doing he didn't like. Well, and he sleeps right here at night. <laughs> and could, could I get your name? John. John Corwith. Cor Corwith? Corwith. Is that C O R W I T H. Okay. All right. I would have named him Lucky, but that's well, just me.